Oh, hello and welcome. I'd like to say thank you for clicking on the video. This is Nate. Today we've got a really nice one for you. This one is a four bedroom, two bath called the uh, Waverly Crest Mahoney here at uh, Pierce Homes in Great Falls, Montana. Now, I previously filmed one and it's already up on the channel. Uh, similar to this, had uh, some different options in it, different colors. Some of the bigger differences I noticed outside of the colors, the pantry in the other one was a lot bigger. The bathroom, or the master bathroom I should say, was a little bit smaller because that's where you got to make your sacrifice. So you either get a large pantry or a uh, large bathroom. You have to kind of make a choice. The other one I don't believe had the uh, sliding glass doors either. I don't mind the underpinnings here. That's just uh, some sheeting that they've got put up. So go ahead and head on in here. First thing you see, obviously, you got your kitchen over there, so you do see your living room and kitchen when you first enter, but I know some people don't really like that. But you still got a good sized living room here. Now, this one also has a bonus room, which I'll show you once we get down there. The other home that I filmed where this angle is on the wall, it was kind of recessed and there was a shelf there with a big plant or something like that. Like I said, I'll put a link to the video in the description, put a link to it somewhere up in the corner there. Really nice uh, dining room area here. You could definitely fit a lot larger table there. Like to see the sliding glass door over here. Back over there is going to be your laundry room. We'll get to that in a minute. And you got this really big island here. So you can see it's really wide, really long. You got a couple drawers in your island, but around your counter space here, you've got drawers above every one of your doors. And I really like the colors they used here. I know normally I go for the darker colors, but I guess this is kind of a darker color compared to some of them.
So really nice cabinets. I really like the backsplash here. It was all the way up to the bottom of the cupboards there, but I mean, that backsplash looks really good all the way around. Really nice countertops, not that you can, there we go, now you can get a good shot of it. Nice flooring in here. You got the uh, stainless steel appliances. So as I was saying, one of the differences in this home versus the previous one, still got the pantry in the same spot, but this one only goes to here. Whereas the other one, you walked all the way back here and then you went this way and it ran the full length of the kitchen. So this one's just a smaller pantry but as I said, you get a lot bigger bathroom by having the smaller pantry. So coming down this way, we're going to go ahead and come in here. We'll get you a shot of your laundry room. Once again, back in behind that little cupboard thing there is going to be your uh, hot water tank. Obviously your furnace. Get a nice sink there. You got your washer and dryer set up there with some nice cabinets above it. And this door will come back. We're going to have to come into that door, but that goes into your guest bathroom. So there again, you got your laundry room. And up there is your living room, so you could come back this way to get to your laundry room. We've got a coat closet here. I think I'd like to see the coat closet a little bit closer to the front door, but you know, I guess there's really no place for it. Perfect spot for your kid to do all his homework. And then directly across from there, you could go straight to his room. So this is going to be bedroom number one. You can see it's a good sized bedroom. Mind you, this is a four bedroom, two bath home. Nice size closet in there. And you've got a little coat rack right there. Uh, the previous home had the same thing. And I think I said it in the last one too. I would rather that be a, like a linen closet or something like that. Because you could always set your coat rack or something up in here in your laundry room. And here's going to be bedroom number two. I do believe this is the smaller of the three bedrooms. Once again, the middle bedroom seems like. And you got your closet. I think this is about the same size as the previous one. And over here, in your guest bathroom or kids bathroom, you get double sinks, double vanity. Now, there is no light above the sinks. Something I'm not used to seeing. I kind of expected to see a light there. And there's that door that goes into your laundry room. 
that you get a really big one piece shower tub combo. Really big tub there. So we're gonna come down this way. We'll come into the bedroom here. These are good sized bedrooms, even though they're, it's a four bedroom. And like I said, that center one was the smallest of the two or the three. Still a decent sized closet. And now is what I was hiding as I came down through the, from the bathroom over there. You've got this really big family room. So the coloring is different in here and I believe last time this shelf was a little bit narrower if I remember correctly and there was some popcorn sitting right about there. Alright so now we'll head down to the master bedroom. You do get a really big master bedroom. I guess as we walk over here, we'll uh, say hello, Raiden. Like the transom windows on each side of your bed there. Lights not shining directly in your face when you wake up. Now as we come into the bathroom here. Now you've got your lights, recessed lighting above your mirrors there. Dual vanity sink. So again, I think I would go with the... Uh, Square sinks versus the, the regular. Just think they look a little bit better. But lots of cabinet space in there to put stuff. I really like this tub. The way they've got that one set in there, it looks good. And then here's going to be your closet. Nice size closet here. Big old transom window in here so you don't even have to turn the light on. Unless it's night out. Now, the final piece. Big old walk-in tile shower. Well, of course, obviously walk-in. You have to walk in the shower, so <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But I really like that stonework that they put in the center there. Just kind of added a little bonus, more attention to detail. Really nice shower. I really like the coloring of it. Don't forget, leave me a comment down below what you think. Something you like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. And thanks, and hope you have a great day. Bye.